The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. So it still confidence when the driver does this. So you almost died several times. No, we. Yeah, we. We rather lose an hour or two and be safe. Look at me now. <laughs> right now, we're going to set up for Mastermind. Only got a little bit of time to do it. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Yep, you know what we're doing. We're at the Harley store. We have to every single time. Cause we gotta get our poker chips, man. But you got some specials back there, huh? Uh oh, okay, okay. All right, what you got? Downtown Asheville is real eclectic and I love the energy there. It's so much fun to go into all the different types of shops and stores that they have there. You could just have a good time walking in and out. We do it every time we go, it's fun. It's so just chill here. Everybody's got like a good energy. About 10 years ago, we bought 20 acres in Asheville and we go and visit every now and then. And right now we're planning on fixing up the cabin so that we can go frequent it more. We're here at our property, but the incline is crazy. This was my first time at the Asheville property and I gotta tell you, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Well, that's our road. I know it doesn't look like a road, but this is the road to our house. I was told it was this gorgeous place, which it was, but I wasn't expecting it to be so overgrown and to be such a freaking walk. Being that we haven't been on our property in a couple years, it was quite the hike to get past all the weeds that were there. I was actually okay with it. I was fine. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ooh, ah, it stuck on me. A lot of trees have been falling here. Yep, we got four trees, I think, down. We got little berries. Mm. We even got some quartz on our property. Tons of quartz. And it's around this time where Bert tells me some very important information. He said uh, that the guy told him there's poison ivy up here. There is. I just don't know what it looks like. <laughs> Isn't it? It's, that's why I'm closing my sleeves. It could look like any of these. So we get there to, you know, the cabin. I got to figure out a way to get into this cabin. The window's open. Oh, the window's open. But there's like spiders everywhere. So hold on. One by one, we each crawl in through the window and my eyes are just trying to adjust to the really dark light. And all of a sudden I look over and Alex has picked up a broom and is starting to sweep this cabin. Even in the dilapidated cabin, she finds something to clean. Which mind you, has a hole in the roof that's dropping leaves into it. You gotta be doing that with dust flying everywhere right now. I wanted to clean up a little bit. LJ and I, our eyes locked for a second, and you could tell that we both were terrified because we just know that when Alex gets in her cleaning sprees, we usually have to help. Yeah, we gotta clean up that main road now. We were on a deadline to get to Indiana and see my daughter because she was flying home. I don't know why landscapes like this remind me of King Kong. And how much more? I think we got flat. No, we have a blowout. It was a highly stressful moment. I can't stop here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, you don't understand. Behind me, there's a ton of traffic. No, it's an emergency. Just pull over now. I gotta get out. Bert, you see the car, dude. Just stop. Everybody was just panicking. This is not the first time I've had a blowout. And when you have a blowout, one of the most important things is to make sure you get to a safe place in order to be able to take it out and replace it. Two main reasons people get blowouts. Number one, you have way too much weight on the vehicle itself and it's not able to handle it. That was not the issue. And number two, you're going beyond the speed limit of the tires themselves, what they're able to actually handle. That could have been the reason. <laughs> we have no idea how to even lift the trailer. I know this, but everybody else seems to have thought they figured something out, but I know that we have no idea how to lift this trailer. So once again, we did not have the proper equipment. What is he doing? So I kind of got friendly with the neighbors. All right, I need yeah, you to go give me a piece of wood. Cause we heard a pop. And then yeah. he said, what is that? I said, I don't know. 
Then here. So we knew we had a head. So. But did we hit something? Because it's weird that it's the back tire. So we finally get to Clinton, Indiana, which is where we're going to park the RV for about a week while we drive back to Indianapolis and have some fun over there. Part of the reason that we went over there is because I really wanted to learn archery. So the whole family, we went out one afternoon and Bill and Ashley were kind enough to bring out their equipment and just show us how it's done. All right, going to Gander Mountain now. We're here to get bow equipment and targets and targets. It's a bow. Oh, Sabrina. My daughter is a natural archer. So he had warned us that, you know, you got to be careful with the string. That, uh, you know, just make Did sure you, you yourself? handle it right. Yeah, yeah I, hit, I have myself good. Wait till it bruises. Black and blue from here down. All the way for like a month. <laughs> There's my tattoo for the first bag. Later that afternoon, we decided that we wanted to try out their full artillery. <laughs> so out came the big guns, and uh, we all went shooting. If you have a problem, take your finger off the trigger. I am not against guns, obviously, but I do think that you need to know the proper way of handling a gun, of shooting, and a reason to shoot a gun. And being that Bill and Wayne are military guys, we thought that they could teach us. One of the things I love when we do these road tours is we end up going to these places that you normally wouldn't go to. One of the things to do in Indiana, apparently, is to go and visit Bridgeton, the covered bridge capital of the world. I'm getting hot pepper jelly Ooh. and diet dang. Dang is good. That's awesome. That is really nice. We're under a bridge? <laughs> We're under a bridge. This town is full of bridges, apparently. This waterfall basically feeds a, a big old grain mill. I truly believe there's a major importance of exploring places that you've never explored before. There's a, an energy, an essence of being there in that present moment. I'm trying to get the waterfall behind you. There is no better experience than that. And then we got to Indianapolis, so we wanted to go exploring. I did not know Indianapolis was so beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong, I didn't hear anything bad about it. It's just, I wasn't really aware. Circle Center Mall. Circle Center Mall, you say? Circle Center Mall. Another reason that we took this trip was to go visit my brother in Indianapolis, who relocated over there. To make my apartment awesome. To help him buy his furniture and set up his apartment. Which she's accomplished perfectly. But then saying goodbye was really hard. I missed you guys so much. So it was nice having you guys around for a while. My brother and I have always been really close, so having him live so far stinks. This is gonna be like the last few hours that I'm gonna see him. So what truly happened in this episode? Number one, being grateful. Being grateful is really important because a lot of times we forget about certain things in our lives. And for example, in this episode, being able to go back to the property that we own up in Asheville and taking a moment to just sit there and embrace what it is that we've accomplished and where we are today, it's really important. So spend some time on being grateful and what it is you have in life. And number two, making sure you stay cool under pressure. Keep in mind, we're traveling across the country and we have a blowout. And for the most part, people will go ahead and have a flip out with the blowout. However, we kept it cool and that's really important. When things don't go as planned and things start falling apart, if you keep it cool, you can always find solution to whatever the problem is. And number three, one of my favorite things that I have spoken about in many of the episodes is quality time, spending time with your family. In fact, one of the things they went out is they went shooting and I'm not really into guns and I've never been into any type of weapons. However, they did. So I ended up staying home, but they actually spent some time going out there and having fun. So even at times when you don't like certain things, 
even though if you're not there, don't stop other people from having fun. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember, keep making it happen, and I'll see you next week. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe.